Hello Linux fans and welcome to another episode of Cool Linux Tools. So before we uh, jump into Nitro Share, I've got a question for you. Do you have multiple systems set up within your home? Maybe you've got a Windows box as well as a Linux box. Or perhaps you're running a trifecta where you have a Mac machine, a Windows machine, and a, Win and a Linux machine. If that's the case... You'll like NitroShare because it's cross-platform. So what is NitroShare? Let's jump in and take a look here. NitroShare allows you to share files and directories from system to system without having a local area network set up. As long as you have NitroShare installed on all of the systems that you're wanting to share files and directories with, They'll communicate and it works so simply. It's, it's ideal and it checks all of the boxes for what I was looking for. So as a distro hopper, I am known to install OS's sometimes a couple times a week on my main system as well as my family system. Now recently I installed Manjaro 17 on the family system and it's been a while since I've installed anything new on that system. However, I don't always want to take the time to network my computers together. I simply want to basically share files and sometimes I'll share directories. So, let's scroll down here and we'll take a quick look. Simplicity check that box because it's very simple and easy to set up and we'll step through that speed so so far I've been very pleased with how fast everything transfers cross-platform which we talked about in the opening there again it works on everything and open source and that checks a big box I know for myself and for many of you uh, you you know you're not going to run anything if it's not open source uh, also you'll see on the main page you've got everything listed here for getting it installed now I'm running Antergus and within the main repository I was able to install that quickly and easily now once it's installed you're gonna find that you can activate things from the system tray you're gonna see an, an icon there that'll say nitro share if you right click on that you've got several options send files send directory view transfers settings and about so we're going to jump over to settings and I'll go ahead and minimize this so from settings you're going to see the uh, general tab which is going to give you device name which is the device you have it installed on you'll see the directory and by default it creates nitro share within your download folder you can change that but you would need to change that I think you need to change that um, on all of the systems that you have it set up on and that may not be 100% accurate. I haven't tested it yet. All right, then under behavior, you've got some options here. One which is I'm not allowed to change, which is allow local applications to interact with NitroShare. Uh, that was set up by default. It's grayed out, and I just have no options to change anything there that I can find at this point. The next option you have is auto start after login. You also have an option for receive files and then overwrite files with identical names. Now the next tab, this is important, security. So you can enable TLS and set up your certificates and your private keys. If you enable this, you'll need to make sure that your certificates and your keys are all sharing the, the common certificate from system to system. You could have this up uh, set up potentially on four or five uh, different systems. And the third tab is advanced. I'm not going to click onto that. That's where you can go in and make adjustments to your ports. All right, so from there, we're going to go ahead and cancel out. And I'm going to jump back in real fast. Uh, and we'll just go through a uh, file transfer process here. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose Send File. And we'll go into, let's go into Pictures here. And I've got a fairly large image here that we'll choose and your next pop-up after you've selected the file or the directory that you want to share is you're going to get a pop-up asking which device so if you have multiple devices set up this is where you would choose so here we're going to choose the uh, device and click OK now you'll see here another pop-up and this is going to show you that your transfer succeeded and then from that pop-up, you could send more files or send the directory. In this case, we're going to clear this out. So as you can tell, it's really simple. Uh, it's very easy to set up. Again, it's key that you're on the same network by Ethernet or wireless. It's key that you have NitroShare set up on all of the systems you want to share with. 
And then once you have that set up in place, it'll detect from one system to the other that NitroShare is installed and allow you to transfer your files and directories. What's not to like? So I was excited to find this, excited to see how simple and easy it is to get set up. So I wanted to share this with you and I hope it helps. Thanks for watching and we will check you later.